Jenny is a beautiful, wonderful mess, as I think we all are. I think um, she tries to keep it together, as we all do, um, but fails a little bit more than, than some other people, but spectacularly. I think she's just this spectacular, wonderful, capable mess, and I love that about her. I, I think Jenny's evolved a lot since the first season. I think she also is facing now a lot more um, uh, emotional trauma. Uh, before in season one she doesn't know what she's feeling so she's not sure why she has this feeling inside of her or why the truth matters so much to her and by the end of the first season you realize why the truth is so important to her she's just misplaced it she's trying to find the truth for others when really she needs to find out the truth for herself and what happened with her sister but at the end of the first season when she realizes that it was her who pushed her sister down the stairs it was her who killed her sister um, that now going into the second season, that's a whole new layer that Jenny has to carry. And her hands are already pretty full with work and life and Ross and her father now with dementia and in order to, to hold all of that and now add the weight of realizing that she is responsible for her sister's death is a really difficult thing for her um, to try to deal with throughout the second season. And you see at the beginning of the first season that instead of using her medication to help her with her anxiety, she's actually starting to use it to suppress her feelings, which her doctor quickly realizes and takes her off of them and puts them on something new. Um, so you see Jenny this season really starting to um, grow, but two, like one step forwards is almost two steps back sometimes. Um, and she's becoming more and more capable in her work. Uh, but again, she still really wants to find the truth. And in this season, we, we talk about the theme really being suppression. So she's really looking for the truth for others, but she's not willing to truly look at what that means to her um, uh, with her sister's death. So it's a really interesting season to kind of do all of the regular cases and now add that extra layer of realization for this p poor, wonderful woman that now gets to deal with that. This, it's lovely. We actually shoot it in Toronto. Um, that was part of uh, what I was looking for with a project was if I was going to come and do a Canadian television show, I wanted it set in Canada. I wanted it to be revolved around um, Canadian lifestyle, Canadian politics, something that was very specific because I feel that in specificity you get universality. I think Canadian television sometimes goes a little bland where we try to be too American in the past to fit in. I get it, I moved to America to fit in. Um, but now we're becoming more specific. We're looking at the BBCs. We're looking at different networks that are doing like a Shetland, which is a very specific show, but such a great show because it shows the humanity in a place in the world, um, not the humanity in a nondescript area within the world. I think, I think, the city is a character. And so shooting in Toronto, we can have a few um, issues sometimes with the weather. We've had it like torrential downpour. We had it snow at the end. I'm trying to think of, oh, there was actually one coming up. I'm in a bathtub um, and I don't know why the water was like a little yellow green. And they were like, no, no, it's clean, I promise. And, uh, and I was like, mm, that looks highly suspect and I have to be under the water completely with no bubbles and lying flat. And I, I don't know how to do that. Like some people know how to hold their breath underwater without letting water up their nose. And so in the scene, I come up out of the water and each time I would be like, <coughs> and they're like, that's such great acting. And I was drowning. Like I was just, it's all real. Like the panic and fear is not acting, it is, I'm drowning in a bathtub of this much water. It was very sad. That didn't do well for my ego that day. I was like, I think I'm gonna have to practice this. So yeah, so we have some like interesting, uh, interesting days. I wish I could say it was like up a cliff or like running through a forest, but no, it was just drowning in a bathtub. <laughs> I think what I've learned from Jenny is it's okay to, to not be okay. You know, you can still be a very strong and capable person while you're having a really bad day or while you're having a really bad week or month. I think her strength in um, her self sovereignty I think the strength in, <clears throat> in the resolve to find out who she is, even though she may not be able to do it in that moment in its deepest capacity, that she's still gonna push through. Um, 
I really admire about her. And I think it's certain things that I've started to, to take on myself when I'm not having a good day to be like, I'm not having a good day. Or I'm, I feel really sad right now, or I feel really excited right now. Um, I've taken that from her. I think she's just, as I said before, she's this beautiful mess that just is kind of like, her whole life has been very, <clears throat> very A-type. And, and now that her husband's gone and she's not an ER doctor anymore and she's letting it go, she starts unraveling everything and she's sort of like, I'm Jenny. You know, it's this like lovely explosion of a human being and she's trying to hold on to things that keep her sane. Um, but she sort of lets it go this season, which is, well, this season she holds on. She's trying to let go. Um, the next season would be her fully being like, I'm here and I'm weird, which I would be very excited to play. <laughs> um, we get to see a lot of evolution between her son, Liam, and her father. Uh, with her son, Ross, because she had him so young, she had him when she was, she was pregnant with him when she was 17 and had him when she was 18. Um, and that's another thing that I love. We don't show the typical teen mom. It's like, no, there's many different types of mothers throughout the entire world. And they can be very capable and be very young at the same time. They are slightly codependent, which you'll see. Um, and so this season, he's not the best. He's lied to me a little bit. Um, and uh, and we, we, we have a lot of fun with that. I was talking earlier about there's a scene where I throw a shoe and I'm supposed to be throwing it at the wall and I got so angry I threw it right at him and it hit Aaron. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, but he's lovely and we, we laughed it off. I was like, do you need ice? Uh, but he's, he's wonderful. So we, we get to see a lot of an evolution with Ross and Jenny um, and then also with her and Liam. Uh, there's much more about the relationship between the two of them. And then one of the ones that I'm really excited about is her and Gordon, her father, because obviously now that she's found out about the truth about her sister, her father has known this entire time and never told her. And I think at some point she realizes that him not telling her the truth wasn't to protect her. At a certain point it became to protect him and the fact that he was lying to her, it became convenient. Um, and so as she has a lot of anger and resentment, he is getting further and further away in dementia. And so there's this interesting dynamic where she can't yell at him or let her anger out because he's not there and he doesn't remember. And I did a lot of research on what it was like to have a parent with dementia. And a lot of people said there's, there is anger and there is resentment and there's sadness and there's fear. And I love that we touch a little bit on that as well, because that's real. Normally what you see is just the sadness of it. And it's like, no, people get angry because of they're losing their, their family member. Um, so all of the relationships sort of evolve this season and heighten and come to the sort of catastrophic bang at the end, as it does in Jenny's, in Jenny's life. Um, but that's the fun of the season and that's the fun of the character. <laughs> Ooh, that is a very short answer. In one word. I'm always so cheesy, I'm like, exciting! <laughs> but it is, it's like, oh, here's one, multifaceted. Yes, I'm using my big words today. <laughs> it is, it's very multifaceted. <laughs> Thank you. Of course.